hey guys. So on this episode, I decided to post a video about uh, swapping out to a 160 degree thermostat. Uh, as we saw in the last time I had my car out to the track, after I hit my 13.5 at 2300 feet above sea level, after I hit that, uh, my engine got hotter and the best I could pull after that was a 13.7. Just once the 5.7 Hemi warms up, you're only gonna pull so much power out of it. You lose a fair bit of ET. Like I said, usually about two tenths of a second, a fair bit of power, just by not keeping that engine as cool as you could. So I debated on whether or not to actually make this video, just simply because there's quite a few videos on how to swap out your factory thermostat already that are pretty good. Um, and it's not that complicated of a task to do, but I figured since it's the dead of winter, there's not much else going on. It's currently minus 32 out right now, minus 41 with a wind chill. My car's parked for the winter, nothing's really going on anyways, and it's gotta get done. Well, I guess you guys get a video on how to swap out your factory thermostat for a 160 degree thermostat, or if you'd rather a 180 degree thermostat. funny because this air intake, it's the only one I've seen like this funny little chunk over here. I feel like this has got to be a baffle just to like kill some of the sound of the intake, I think, because most other Challengers and Charger and 300s for that matter, they just go straight into here. I've never seen one other than mine that has this little chunk that comes off and then goes over here. Like it's got to be just to kill sound, I think. Kind of weird. Maybe it's just a 2009 thing and that was, that was the only time they did it. I'm just going to cover up my alternator the best I can. With a plastic bag down here. I'm just going to use a little bit of tape just to kind of stick it on so it doesn't fall right off. I don't really want to get a whole bunch of coolant in that alternator. Even though it probably won't hurt it. Still would rather just not. I'm just going to grab a couple of these shock towels. Take the shock towels. Kind of put them down here in case it really does fill up. Just to try to absorb anything. Right. I got this tip from Speedy's Garage, which is actually a super clever way of doing this. So he put a Ziploc bag, like this one, right underneath the spout. Use that to catch any coolant that was dripping down, which is a hell of an idea actually, because then he just used that to dump right back into the reservoir so he didn't have to go out and buy a bunch of extra coolant. Because there's no sense buying a big jug of coolant when I know that I'm only going to use like less than a quarter of it to refill the reservoir up to where it was. If you just reuse the old stuff, then you don't really have to do that. Right there. So let me pull it away and you start leaking a little bit. The deal is you can to catch all of it, which is awesome. This is my new thermostat. I gotta bring it up. And so this is her. It's a 160 degree thermostat, which should be enough. 
that'll keep this bad boy nice and cool when I'm racing. That's 13 mil. Correct. So far it looks like the bag is doing its job, which is great. Gasket around this guy, just like that. Right. Bam. Okay, that goes at 12 o'clock. Straight up, like that. Now I'll take this guy back. So I'll just get in here. Oh. There we go. Pretty snug. Right about there. So I got my tool bag. For the most part, it worked. Got a very little bit of coolant that leaked out, but for the most part, I mean, we've got all that. Works just fine. Gently throw the rest of this coolant straight down there without spilling. So having said that, after you get your thermostat installed, you will need to get a custom tune for it simply because once your car tries to come up to temperature and the computer reads that it's not coming up to temperature within a certain allotted time, it's probably going to throw a code for you and you'll get a check engine light. However, I'm going to get a custom dyno tune after this like we talked in the last one because I wasn't too happy with my dyno performance numbers and specifically my power and torque curve on the on the graph so i'm going to get a new new tune going anyways once spring hits and i get the car back out on the road we'll go get a custom dyno tune at that point we'll get them to adjust the thermostat to 160 degree and everything should be good from there <clears throat> all right guys thanks for watching that's a pretty easy install for you guys and uh hopefully you, utilizing the bag and stuff like that you guys didn't make too big of a mess if you like the video or just like the content I'm providing, click subscribe, click like, and uh, make sure you're notified next time I throw another video out. Until next time, guys, catch you later.